It's your boy L Sauce. Hey, it's your boy L Sauce. Subscribe. Good morning. How y'all doing? I know it's been a while. I know. I know. I know. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. As you can tell by today's title, we are going to the Comic Con in Charlotte. Uh, it's my first time going. Tickets were $10 for both days. It starts from 10 to 6 on Saturday, which is today. And tomorrow, I believe it's from 10 to 4. Currently, it's 11.57. We're about to head out. Check it out. I've been on this real kick uh, as of lately as far as like retro uh, retro games and I'm not really into comic books but I want to go see what they have to offer and maybe that's why you guys are here so I'm trying to capture as much footage as possible today. My name is El Sauce the YouTuber. I'm going to be giving 100% YouTuber vibes today just to capture as much footage as possible. Let me get my vlog camera ready or handle or tripod as you can see I'm be doing a lot of this, a lot of that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a lot of famous uh, comic book uh, writers, things like that, that I don't even know. Who, I don't even know. I, I bet you there's going to be a lot of people there. But nevertheless, I'm going to try my best to capture as much footage as possible. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all not going to want to miss it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. To all my returning subscribers, I appreciate the love and support. We're almost at 500 subs. We're building the channel organically, okay? I'm not doing no... Um, clickbaity or or no family vlogs or things like that that's just not my style man okay i'm giving you guys pure content there's enough content like that on youtube uh with that corniness um and that's that's gonna be another channel all right this right here is gonna be real uncut um just stuff you know but try to make the channel as interesting as possible okay um and i hope you guys are enjoying it if that sounds like something you're into hit that like button i'll be black with y'all peace What's good, y'all? So we made it. Made it through security. We walking up now. We're gonna see what we, we're gonna see what it's hitting on. It's our first time here. Kind of nervous. We'll see. There you go. Cool. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all look great. Y'all look great. Tag us on Instagram. Will do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Relax.
All right, y'all. So that was a Comic Con. We had a good time. We uh, checked out a whole bunch of comic books. Saw a lot, a lot of people dressed up. So we had a great time. I'll see y'all on the next one. See y'all. Peace. Peace. Hey. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So we just left the um, the Comic Con Charlotte uh, convention. That was my first time going. It was a really great experience. Um, like I said, it was ten dollars a hander. Um, and it was huge. Uh, apparently, the the larger one they're doing is going to be in June, uh, June twenty second. So it's more so like a smaller one that they had this year. And um, everyone there was super friendly. Um, the local store on Seventh Street and Elizabeth, I believe it's called Heroes. Don't always wear capes. I believe that's what it's called. Um, really showed me around, and it, it was just, it was a really really dope experience. People were dressed up, um, and I spent money. I didn't. I, I really wasn't even imagining me spending money when I got there, but when I got there, I've never bought a comic book in my life, and there were just so many different comics ranging and price. I mean, it was a really good experience, but nevertheless, I'm gonna show everything that we did get, and comic book uh, enthusiasts don't come for me because, like I said, this is all brand new to me. Um, I think overall, I spent about, like, what, 50 bucks, 55 bucks, 50, 55 bucks, but nevertheless, I'm about to show everything I got right now. So shout out to Acme Comics in Greensboro. Um, that's them right there. If you want to follow them, there's the information right there. Um, these two dudes were super cool, young guys, re really cool. Kind of told them my background that, you know, obviously I'm looking for Black Panther. I mean, that's my favorite superhero. Um, just I love how he's portrayed. I got an interesting story. I'm gonna tell you about that afterwards. But nevertheless, these comics were two for five and he threw me in another one for free. So originally I had got these two. So as you see, this is a Spawn. I don't know if you guys remember Spawn from back in the day, but this is Spawn right here. I grew up watching him, um, another black uh, superhero. I don't know, he, he was just super dope, man. And um, obviously this Black Panther one right here. Um, and then he threw this one in. And when he threw this one in, come to find out, the guy that created, his name is Brian Stillfreeze. Still Brian Stillfreeze, he's the guy that created this new concept of Black Panther, the one that we saw in the movie theater, she created it. Like the image and everything, he did the comics. He's extremely talented, uh, I don't even know, I guess artist, I guess you call it artist. But they called him, Black Panther called him to do the job and he's the one that kind of created the whole look of this newer version of Black Panther. So he kind of created this thing. He said, you know, I want to make Black Panther black. And they're like, what do you mean? He's like, no, I'm going to make Black Panther black. Like, like I'm going to switch up his superpowers. So he had a lot of pull in what we see today um, as this current Black Panther. But uh, he was super dope, man. We talked to him for like, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, man, while he was painting. Just painting and... Uh, Super cool guy, man. Black dude, super chill, like really cool, man. And um, that was probably the highlight of the day. And I said, hey, I ought to be a fool for him not to sign it if he's right there. So I had him sign it as well right here. Um, so I bought this from another booth and I went over there and had him sign it because why not, you know? And um, so that, that's the first couple things we got. I really like these pickups, man. And shout out to Acme Comics for the comics and, and, and hooking me up with that extra little throw in. I, I really appreciate it, y'all. Oh. So, there's another guy, uh, what's his name? Um, the other guy that created the new Spider-Man, Gwen, Gwen, Rico, his name is Rico. He, he created the new Gwen Spider-Woman, y'all. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know all this stuff. I'm learning a whole bunch of new stuff, but, you know, I talked to him for a little while. Uh, I wanna, you know, when I talk to these people, I wanna show support to like local or like, creators man like I love like artists and, and art and expression so like I wanted to show as much love as I can so if I talk to somebody I want to buy something man I want to be tacky man and just come over there and talk like I want to support that's what we're here to do especially after pandemic man so I just want to show a little bit of love um, but I got like the Mario groups uh, I thought that was really cool it's just these are just stickers I think these were like three for five three for five um, and I just thought this dude was hilarious. I forget where he's from, but he said catch these hands. I forget where, I forget what he's from. I, I might throw a little image up on the screen. Hold on, I got, okay. And this is actually Rico's dog. Uh, I guess that's a Frenchie. Uh, apparently has that on Instagram. I might throw that up here. 
Um, and then I got like this little spider pig. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, is that spider Pikachu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be a spider Pikachu, honestly. Yeah. So we got those two. So it's a cool little pickup. But right now, if you guys don't know, we're at Fuel Pizza right across the street from the Shaw Convention Center. We just grabbed a slice of pizza and we were hungry. Uh, so put that to the side. Now. So we stopped by a booth. I guess it's called Tall Stories. Um, there's, they're in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, yeah, there's some more of their information. They had like really cool stuff. Like uh, they had like a, a Spawn original poster from back in the day. It was like 60 bucks, y'all. Y'all gotta understand, man. Some of this stuff is cheap, but some of this stuff is expensive. I'm talking about once these people grade their comics, man, they, the price jumps up to thousands of dollars. Like it's crazy. But nevertheless, um, they get they had a free book. I don't know. They just gave a free book. I talked to the guy, um, but they just had this free book. And uh, it's a hard, hard back. I mean, brand new. I mean, if it's free, man, it's me, man. And uh, it's just really nice of them. Really cool. So I got that. Shout out to them. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the comics. So I got 10 from the, these are my first comics I bought before I went to these people. But I got 10 comics for five bucks. Um, so I'll start with this one. This one's name, uh, this one's Cable, I believe, Future Destiny. I mean, at this point, I'm just picking out stuff that looks cool, like as far as just like the artwork. And this one had like a little, little color to it and the back right there. This one was made in, okay, I don't know when this one was made. Oh, okay, May 1993, so made in 1993. I got this uh, Battlestar Galactica. Um, I just got this one because it just looks super old. I think I said this one came out like maybe 1978. Yeah, yeah, 19. Yeah, this was 1978. Yep, 1978. Universal City Studios. Um, yeah, so super old. Just cool, man. Vintage stuff. Uh, then I got this one, The Secret Defenders, has Wolverine on there. I don't know, I just like the cover. Y'all, I'm going for covers at this point. It's super dope. This one, it was 1992. Excuse me, y'all, I got something on my nose. I might edit it out, I might not. All right. Then I got a Spider-Man. My girl loves Spider-Man, this is 1995. Hold on, is it Spider-Man? Yeah, it's Spider-Man, a different, different like little uh, scanner, outfit, whatever you want to call it. Then another Spider-Man. This one was in 1991 or 1995. So my goal with these comics is actually like try to read them and then, I don't know, maybe start collecting them. Um, like I was telling the other guy, man, like I want to start having more stuff that's more tangible, man. Everything is like online or in this cloud. I want to have some more tangible stuff. And because if the internet goes to crap one day, like what are we going to do? You're going to be panicking. So I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to entertain myself for a little bit. But Dark Knight, I mean, come on, man. Classic. This is, this is probably one of the newer ones I, I, I purchased. This was, uh, I think, 2016. But just super clean and just just dope man like this might be one of my favorite ones i picked up like look at this is it like doing the holographic thing on it look at the back that's just that's hard x-men and daredevil i mean that is just this is pretty new too but that's that's dope justice league super cool Will Smith, Jada, quit, quit, quit putting this bad voodoo on Will Smith, man. You be embarrassing the man. Come on, now. Y'all gotta do better. 
um, than Batman. Got the Joker and the Riddler on there, I believe. And last but not least, this Batman. Yeah, so, like I said, those 10 comics were, were $5. So that, that was, I don't know, I think that was a pretty good deal. All right. Now, so this is really cool. Uh, I got this one from fineprintshop.com or fineprint. I don't know. Y'all tell me what it says. But I saw this. This is something you hang on the wall. I believe this was uh, one of the more expensive things. Y'all, y'all, y'all guess how much this costs? But the Bowser, man. I think that's gonna look good in my little man cave. Um, there's a Mario, Super Mario one in there. But Bowser, I mean, it's Bowser, man. Come on, like iconic. Like Bowser go hard. Bowser go hard in the paint. So this is really cool. I think this was 15 bucks. I don't think it was bad. Like I said, I'm hanging on the on the wall. It just looks really cool. And if you could feel it, like it's just, you see how it's shining. All right. This is the last thing I got. No, I got two more things. So this is another uh, another original painting from that guy that did the uh, the, uh, the new Black Panther, Brian, I forget his last name, but he drew this, like I said, I was talking to him. This was, uh, he signed it as well, the Joker. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put this in a frame. I think this is gonna look amazing once I frame it. Like, look at the detail, look. You see what's, like, you know, see the, uh, the puddle of blood? Like, I just think that just goes so hard. Like, that is just dope, man. Like, and he, he was drawing this stuff right at the table, man. Like, just super talented, man. And one of my favorite horror villains of all time. He, he's funny. I don't, I used to be scared of this guy growing up, but like now you go back and watch the videos, like Chucky was a fool with it. Like Chucky is funny as hell, but that's Chucky. And I think uh, obviously uh, Andy, um, little boy Andy, but this is dope. That is from a guy from uh, allcitystudios.com. He's actually a black uh, professor at UNC Charlotte. He's been teaching there for eight years. He he uh, he, he teaches. Uh, uh, what did he say? Teach? Yeah, it, illustration. Yep, illustrations. Um, really dope, man. Like he had a whole bunch of cool stuff, and I just wanted to show some poor. I think this is uh, fifteen bucks, but uh, yeah. So I think that wraps it all up. Yeah. So that's that, y'all, man. So. I hope I try to capture as much as possible. There is some, it's crazy. One lady said like she didn't want us to videotape or, or take pictures. Um, but I think her stuff was more reprints. So I don't know, it was all good. I was like, for all y'all know, I could be black comic man. Like, you know, that's what y'all need to call me this episode. I'm black comic man, okay? That might be some guy on YouTube, I don't care. I'm black comic man. And it's been another great experience. Um, and I hope I didn't talk y'all's heads off too long. Um, I hope y'all taking care of yourself. I hope y'all have an amazing day. If you can make the one in Charlotte, June 22nd, check it out. It's supposed to be way better with panel discussions, things like that. And it's your boy L Sauce. I'm signing out. Peace.